Good morning, Beijing. Oh, doggies. Hey, doggie. Come on. Come here. Come on, George. You have to come now, otherwise I'm going to look like I'm insane when I'm talking to an invisible animal. So, you got like three seconds, buddy. No? Now gonna... Okay. Well, good morning, everybody in Beijing. I have two dogs that could be imaginary. Who knows? Honestly. I'm not even sure most of the time, to be completely honest. Alright, let's go click this button and that button. And... Alright, so let's go quickly and jump back to last night's project. Close Encounters of the Penguin Mind. Um, as always, aptly, aptly named. Um, So, let's see, let's see, okay. Get rid of that, minimize that, open this, click that, slide this, play. <laughs> was very mediocre um, if you were watching last night um, it took me about half an hour to even write that first riff and then we kind of had to cram it to the end there um, but you know not all of these are going to be beautiful masterpieces um, but cool cool dog just shit on the carpet you know how it goes not even the puppy. Honey, your dog should have a punch. Um. Oh, well, you know. You win some, you lose most. Um. Don't worry, I will clean it up. Um. Just keep it. 
Well, look at that. Cleaning service has arrived. Shut up. <laughs> it's never a dull moment in the house. So what you get when you have a puppy and a dog. So, uh, so recommendations to people out there. Um, don't. If you don't have a dog, don't get one. <laughs> they just crap all over the house. Um, but if you have a dog, get two. Um, it's funny to watch them fight. It's like legal dog fighting. They don't really hurt each other. They just roll around. So, uh, how are you, uh, Tentacle Bukaki Monster? That's beautiful. I can't believe you got that name. Uh, I would have thought there was some Japanese kid or weeaboo who would have taken that one from you. Um, feeling blessed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> who else would you think? Um, all right, so... I was going to write a really fast um, dragon metal song, and I think I still might, just because I know that Tentacle Bukaki Monster is a particular fan of dragon metal. Um, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this. I'm just kind of ballparking in the tempo. Maybe a little faster than that. I've got like a kind of Iron Maiden idea. But, uh. I'll play some of the pieces. I did dragons. But let me. Hold on. Let me just record this dragon part real quick because it is kind of cool. Thing. Um. Actually, <laughs> if you just take off the distortion, right, and play the exact same thing, it becomes an indie song. Ready? starting with that. That's hilarious. Um, look at that. You didn't know that indie music and uh, dragon metal were so intertwined. Literally one and the same. Funnier over a computer. Um, that was kind of cool. I like that little riff. Um, probably not going to do it that many times, though. Make this as indie as possible. 
and then it's going to be as dragon metally as possible. This is going to be the first. It's one of a kind, honestly. A hybrid dragon metal indie song. It's called Indie Dragons. Or Dringies, for short. kind of works um and some strings i can actually i've got my midi pickup on here um so it's not uh yeah it's dead right now um but i can charge it and do that tomorrow or later um i can actually i thought i had the cable somewhere around here i'm sure it is but i can't be bothered to find it but um I also have a MIDI keyboard that I can do that with later, too. Um, but most of these songs are going to be guitars and drums, and then we're going to pick a few of them for me to actually finish with, like, piano and vocals and all that stuff. So um, I'll let you vote on what you guys want. Um, so we'll see. All right, so... I think we should just blast out of Indie World. Every single time. I don't know how to stop it. I like to wait for it to happen and then hit OK. Every single time. Um, You always gotta have a little chug at the end there. That's how you know something cool's gonna happen next. That's kind of cool. I like that part. Um, pretty simple. It's the same chords. Um, as the thing before, but this time just a bit of distortion. Sounds more punk than dragon metal. Don't worry, it's gonna get dragon metal. It's, that was the warm up to the dragon metal. So I said, you gotta do the little chugs, and then when you do the chuggy things at the end, then it gives you a full license to do this. Um, do -do -do -do. Swing a little bit. And. Dragon Metal time. Nah, I, I don't like the drums for that. Gotta bring them down a bit. They're, they're going a little too crazy. Um, I actually kind of wish it was faster now. Happen. This also happens every time. You can't click on the drums and then click record. What chords? The, so the 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 indie riff that I just played here. Ready? So the indie riff is um, what is that? That's a D. So it's just a D power chord. So D power chord. And then what you're doing is you're playing the D power chord, but instead of uh, where your ring finger would normally go on the 7th fret, you're using your pinky on the ninth fret of the D string, and that gives you a 6th, um, music terms that you may or may not know. Then you, um, I 
don't know actually what this is. This is just a a four a no minor third track uh, interval. Uh, again, you're just on the D, which is the uh, fifth fret on the A string, um, and then you're playing the fourth fret on the string below it. And then the very last chord is uh, shift down one fret, so you're playing C sharp on the lowest string, and then shift down two frets on the other um, string, so you've got your first finger on the second fret, um, and that will also... if you want to learn it. Um, and then on the last thing, I just go... just play the two notes back and forth. Um, and that last one's kind of like an upside-down power chord. Um, it's a minor third interval that you're playing there. Um, so that's kind of what that is. Um, let me see if I can redo this heavy part now, though, to have some galloping in it. Hey, that means it's more than just my mom and dad now. Um, I'll drop my pig. Oh, black pig, black desk. Never a good, good idea. Something like that might be cool after. Um, give like a pretty simple heavy beat there. Um, think that. I think that to be fixed. Um, so. Let's go back real quick and listen to everything we've got. Let's pan that left and right so it sounds a little better. Um, and here's what we're going to when you're making this shit up as you're going along because then you have to remember what it is you just did 
Um, needs reverb as much as reverb as you can fit, like seven gamma ones minimum. Um, that's actually true. The channel we're using right now is super dry um, on purpose. I have another channel right here with reverb, so click. Now we have reverb. So maybe for this part, actually, this will probably sound a little better. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. It fills the space a lot better. Um, go higher and so check out for like something not as brutal. Um sure. I can do that. I'm gonna save this piece though and put it somewhere else. Cause I know where that will come in handy later. Um but I can put that beat back. And do something oh just the third chord. So Alright, hold on, let me try that. So the first one's the lowest, and then, and then I did, and then. So it was the first one, the second one, the third one, and then I do the first one again. There's only three chords that time. So the third one. Okay, so. The first time or just the fourth time? Just put. Oops, hold on. Let me put these back now, because um, they'll help with timing. Because that was a really weird time. So this is gonna sound weird when I record it, but um, it will probably sound funny when it's done. So don't mind this.
let's just try that again and see what happens. just for the sake of listening. Let's loop it and then listen. Yeah, I agree. I think it is coming in too late. I'm just going to record it from here or something. It's the nice thing about this software, it's so easy to use. <laughs> the wrong thing. So much for so easy to use. Uh, it is really easy to use though. Anyone interested in just writing some songs or learning to write songs or whatever you're doing, um, it's a thousand times easier than trying to do um, Logic or Pro Tools or whatever. Um, I've used all of them and this is the easiest, best writing tool I've ever seen. Um, it just lets you write. You don't have to do any software crap. And I'm, you know, I know how to use it all. I just think this does everything you need right away without finicky crap you don't need. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that is cooler, I think. Better than it just being repetitive. Um, I think from right there, I want to see the scope what's going on here. I can actually put that beat back. Um, is this the chorus? No, this is.
got any ideas for what we should put there? Um, alright, so... Alright, back to indie? You're right, good idea. Alright, so anyone who just joined us is not sure what's going on. Um, we're writing an indie dragon metal song. So, um, you know, we just like to bridge our genres over here. Um, but I'll take requests. Um, I'm not going to do what you ask, but... section could do with like a way more laid back drum part um, and uh, I need to kind of come up with a rhythm <laughs> See what that actually sounds like. Um, with some... Let's do both Change the drums too, so that might be what it was. And I doubled the recording and split it, so it, it's kind of masking anything that was a, just a hair off. Um, good trick to know, by the way, if you're ever recording something, just record it twice and pan one hard right and pan one hard left. Here, I'll show you right now what the difference is in sound. Ready? So. These are right up the middle. So this is what you traditionally, like right when you start the program, this is what you get. And it might sound weird because there's something called phasing um, and that's what's happening when you play the same thing over itself. Um, it's just a frequency kind of thing. Um, but now we play them together. I 
and it's a full sound. You can then double that, and it will sound even better. Um, all, all songs that you listen to are doubled and panned left and right. It's, it's just pretty much universal. <laughs> cheat here because I really like what we did um, and I'm going to do something that I do quite a lot so if you've been watching me this week you've probably noticed this pattern um, I like taking the first half of my song and repeating it again but the second time we do it cut pretty much everything in half um, and it creates a interesting uh, sound. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. So, <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. It's Andrew Paul. Um, <sighs> the government agency. Um, it's by. this. Alright, we're going to make this sound a little bit more interesting. Get rid of that idea. And I'm just going to write another part that goes after this. Um, what we're going to do. Perfect. Again, again, who knew they worked so well together? This is the same riff. some distortion on there we're gonna gallop a bit and it's gonna sound kind of cool this is gonna be neat because the first part of this song is gonna be slow indie part chords galloping then the second half of the song is gonna be slow indie chords slow indie part chords galloping but different different but similar so they sound They'll follow some of the same, um, uh, they'll same same rhythm patterns, but they'll be different chords. So you'll hear a familiar beat, but it will be different music on top. Um, it's a pretty common writing trick. Uh, oops. It's only gonna be a little bit more gritty, I think, because of the way the chords are. Um, Exactly, same, same, but different. That's all music is, honestly. And so I used to write with this like idea that no matter what I was writing it had to be 100% unique and different and something I'd never heard before. And it took me until about, uh, what's the date, uh, 25 days ago to realize that that's stupid. You can't do that. No matter what you write, you'll go hear it somewhere else and you'll just be like, fuck. So, um... When I stopped thinking that, I wrote almost 20 songs in 25 days. Um, so, I was clearly wrong. <laughs> you don't need to be reinventing the wheel every single time. You can use pretty generic shit to get by and still be creative. Hence, 
all the music on the radio. accurate though just grab a cord to do a finger picking pattern and call it your own that's literally how you become an indie artist um and like i'm not i don't mean that like in any other way than like factually <laughs> Nice chair and some metal. That's pretty much uh, what you're going to get in this show. It is simply a very nice Ikea chair. It really is. It's a very comfy chair. Um, it's even got a pouch in the back. Don't know why. I don't know what people are putting in their pocket in the back of their chair. I'm sure someone will come up with some items for me to be placing in the pocket in the back of my chair. All right, let's give this one a listen through real quick because it is approximately a minute and a half long and we've been on for 45 minutes. So let's finish this up.
it's actually very true. Um, you do have to hydrate a lot up here. Um, you do seriously end up drinking like 50 glasses of water a day. And it's a wicked nice glass. My sister got this for me Christmas. It's got an S on it for uh, Earworms Daily. It's our, you know, it's our logo. Just a giant S. I am getting a logo made though. Um, maybe, if they ever get back to me. But, so, what I, I dropped that track that had the reverb down so that it will be not so loud. That's better. So a lot less abrupt. Um, this is kind of cool song. Let's see. Ooh, I know what to do. Alright, we're gonna... This is like the oldest trick in the book right here. It's basically what we've been doing this entire song, is simply do what you just did, but a little bit differently. Sears comes Sally. Uh, Sears is closing down, actually. Thank you very much. So, Sally is not going to Sears. Um, you should probably read a newspaper for once in your goddamn life. <laughs> I know, right? KB Toys. Ugh. Toys R Us. We'll just know all the good ones. Why can't someone just, like, shut down Abercrombie or something? The same thing, but different. It's literally the same thing as the clean hip indie part, but this time with distortion on it. Switcheroo, then we bring the this part of the song back, and then I think we end it. Um, can we get out of here? I don't know why it does this. It has like an ending to the song. Like, it puts like a little black line on the GarageBand file of like how far you can record. But you can just move it. You just slide it down. I don't understand why it's even there. It's just in the way. <laughs>
Max Hellwolla. Kind of finish this song off. This was a little shorter than normal, but it is indie dragon metal, so I don't think there's a quota for how long an indie dragon metal song is. <laughs> Just caught it in time. It means I can zoom in and get back about what I just did. The one thing too is the zoom on this is either way too much or way too little. All right, let's see what we've got so far. ending isn't the best but I think I want to end this one heavy so I'm actually going to bring this part back in at the end but just this much of it I also noticed down here that the yeah
I know that one. Okay. This doesn't work. That'll make a nice ending, actually. That was actually not bad. Where are we at? 57? So let's check that. That was three minutes long. Um, cool. I think I can live with that. I think um, I think I'll bounce it out and we'll save it. But um, um, We gotta save it first. Bad timing, tentacle with a cocky monster. We won't get to name the song. I'm missing the best part. We'll ad libs this one. Give me a noun. <laughs> And a verb. And we'll go from there. Um, we'll give it a real name in a second. I'm just going to play it again from the beginning. Wow. easy. Alright, I got one. Hot dog. Drag queen. There we go. Hot dogs. See, this is, that's the one uh, in <laughs> Mr. Yeah, it was hot dog. <laughs> Doesn't sound like <laughs> not. Alright, we're bouncing out to iTunes because we'd be done. Send the song to iTunes at 1 hour, 1 minute, and 13 seconds. Not bad, right? I mean, like, not the best song. I mean, you, you know, it's very, this one's oh, very okay. Um, but, like, there's some little riff, little bits in here that are pretty good. Like, that first part's not bad. You know. Could do do stuff like that forever. So drag queen manifesto is complete. 
I do I need to put like a disclaimer now of like how I've no problem with drag queens. I'm not a homophobe or you know, tra- I don't hate trans people. <laughs> you know, I feel like you're not allowed to make a joke without giving a 15 minute paragraph on why you're not an asshole in real life. Um, sorry, drag queens. You're <laughs> white chub. See? <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Alright, cool beans. That's probably copyrighted. I can't say that, can I? Um, that was good. That was good. Do something tomorrow. I've got a work conference this week, so I should be back in the evenings. So I still plan on doing it. But if not, um, I'll write uh, five songs this weekend or something. Yeah, no worries. Just download it, um, and then it will ask you to allow, like, all permissions. Just do all permissions, and then I sent you the login um, info on the other thing. Um, and then just mess around with it. Let me know. Um, just let me know if it even works. So anyone's interested, my other um, project is uh, called Dex. And it's a music app that can listen to you play and give you feedback in real time. So, sort of like an AI music teacher. Um, music teacher companion. I want to work with the teachers. Don't want to take their jobs. Um, <laughs> it is totally pronounced dicks. But, I, right. Adios, Beijing. Have fun at work. Bada bing, bada boom.